up, y'all? It's your boy, Nate Almighty, aka the Global Dark Skin Ambassador. I got another Rikers Island story for y'all. Number 17. We're gonna call this one, You Don't Have to Run the Jail, but Just Don't Let the Jail Run You. Now, when I see a whole bunch of people making these jail stories and these Rikers Island stories, um, there's a lot that goes unsaid. And one of those things is that majority of the people in jail, in a house or a mod or a unit, majority of those people will not run the jail at any one point. Majority of those people will not run the jail and only a small percentage will. And th that small percentage, a large percentage of those people usually are working with the police. So it's like, you're basically a sellout. So those people who claim that they was running the jail, running the houses, all crazy. These are people who possibly work with police to get other people removed from the house who are a threat. To uh, get other people exposed for situations. Um, um, kiss asses. Kiss asses who oppress their own people and like that against them. Um, do your jail time. Don't let the time do you. You don't have to run the jail. Just don't let the jail run you. I mean, um, out of that very small percentage of people who run the jail, there is a small percentage of people who don't run the jail, but they basically get to do whatever they want. Um, and then being to do whatever you want, there comes a price with that as well. Um, and the price of that is that doesn't come for free. Um, a lot of times you're not a gang member or you're a person who's trying to get into a gang and you would have to climb the ranks or establish very early on that you're not afraid to be violent. A lot of times you don't have to run the house long as you're willing to be violent for your respect and you won't let nobody touch you or take nothing from you or make you do anything you don't want to do, then you already know how to be. You already are a person who's going to gain his or her respect within that jail system. Um, it's as simple as that. Um, just be somebody who has respect for themselves. Simple as that. Just be somebody who you're not going to let nobody say anything disrespectful to you without you going upside their head. As long as you're known as somebody who will go upside somebody's head over disrespect, you don't have to run the house because you can still come and go as you please. You know what I'm saying? It's the it's the extra pussy dudes, the dudes who, who, who were acting real big and gangster outside in the street and then they get locked up, they're afraid to get their ass whooped. These are the dudes that are washing underwear. You know what I mean? These are the dudes, these are the dudes that are cleaning up unnecessarily. These are the dudes that are giving commissary up, phone calls up. You know what I'm saying? The dudes that really didn't know what they was getting themselves into and 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 they're afraid of the funk. As long as you're not afraid of the funk, you'll be alright. You know what I'm saying? Um but you got to fight for your respect. There's no way around that. That's the that's the only way to 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 maintain your dignity, maintain your self-respect and also keep a code of ethics within your jail ecosystem. And it's as simple as this. You touch me, I'm going to kick your ass. If you steal anything from me and I find out who you are, I'm going to kick your ass. Um just stay out of my way, I stay out of yours. Don't disrespect me. I won't disrespect you. You can't be afraid to get your ass kicked. Like, this is why it's very important to that you need to understand that you don't have to run the jail. Most dudes talking about jail stories, they have not ran a whole jail dorm, but it's okay. You don't judge them by whether they ran a whole jail or not. You judge them by did they stand tall? Did they maintain their their principles? Did they go to jail and 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 they they kept it positive except for when somebody tried to play them? Because if it's somebody who's quiet and they don't bother nobody, they may stay in their cell a little time reading and stuff like that. You gotta respect that. 
But if somebody disrespect that man, that man going to deal with that in any violent way he choose. Whether he going to punch somebody in the face, you know what I'm saying? Whether he's going to cut that person, stab that person, that's his prerogative. But still, all in all, it's important to know that you don't have to run the jail. You just can't let the jail run you. Don't go into the jail and 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 just become consumed with everything going on, getting caught up in the gang stuff, getting caught up in the drug stuff, because that's the quickest way to then allow the jail to run you, because now you stuck into the politics of it all. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is when you start getting into things like like gambling and juggling, which I already stated in the earlier video, it can get you killed. Like it can seriously get you killed or hurt a, a, a lot and very bad at the least. You know, um, um, if you want to maintain your own peace of mind and you don't want the jail to run you, then all you got to do is mind your fucking business. Mind your business. Um, um, don't try too hard to make friends. Keep a keep a uh, safe and respectable distance from everybody. Respect yourself and respect everyone around you. But when you give respect and respect is not reciprocated, then you got to reciprocate back that negative energy. And you can't hesitate. You know, like, like Rikers Island is gladiator school for real. And it's really either eat or get ate. So you got to decide, you know, are you going to be scared to get your ass whooped? Are you going to be scared to be violent and then let the jail run you? Or are you going to man up and put your big boy drawers on because you're already in there? The decision is yours. Peace, love. Don't go to jail. But if you do, these are the steps to maintain your sanity and your respect in there, man. Right is on the story. Number 17. Peace.